This is ETV, sponsored locally by the Boise Weekly, Radio Boise, and KBOI-TV Channel 2. Hello there, and welcome to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. I'm your host, Brad Rowan. This week, we're taking a look at the Boise Weekly's Best of Boise. And to help us out with that, from the Boise Weekly, it's Tara Morgan. Tara, how's it going? Pretty awesome. I'm good. Pretty excited about the Best of Boise. I know. So are we. Uh, this week marks our uh, annual Reader's Choice edition. Uh, last week, our staff picks came out. So it's a big, exciting week for us. Nice. And you've also got a big party coming up on Sunday. We do, yeah. But I'll tell you about that after I tell you about what's coming up uh, earlier this weekend. Cool. Fill us in. All right. So starting out on Thursday, it's the Idaho Food Bank's annual fundraiser, A Chef's Affair. Oh, this is an awesome event. I know. It's great. So that's at the Boise Center on the Grove. It's a six-course black tie dinner. Um, and this year, they're actually going to kick it off beforehand with a concert by Leroy Bell. He's a Seattle soul musician. Oh, very exciting. Yeah. Um, and so then coming up uh, on Friday, it's the Northwest Film Festival and After Party. So that's a... Um, Four short films that are going to screen at the Egyptian starting at 6 p.m. on sort of skiing and snowboarding. And then afterwards, there's an after party at Tom Graney's, and that's going to be uh, featuring 44 North Vodka and our BW Street team. Nice. I'm all about the after party. I know. Especially with 44 North exactly. involved. And it's a great way to get, you know, geared up and ready for the winter coming up. Totally. Very cool. Um, well, yeah, so then also Friday and Saturday, uh, there's going to be two performances of the Red Light Variety Show's uh, latest performance, which is called Myth Fabelore, so that's uh, sort of tackling myths, fables, and folklore. Mm. Uh, so it's going to be burlesque and then, uh, you know, some variety show action, and that's going on at the Visual Arts Collective. It starts at 9 p.m. Uh, both nights. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, so coming up uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, as a part of the Fred Meyer uh, Broadway and Boise series, they're bringing the Blue Man Group to the Morrison Center. Nice. I know, so they're going to be doing five performances, a couple matinees, and some evening performances. And so, yeah, it's going to be at the Morrison Center all weekend. That's great. For those of you that haven't seen the Blue Man Group, go check it out. It's very audience participative, and it's just it's a fun, uh, fun show, you know? Yeah, I hear the people in the front rows have to wear uh, parkas so they don't get covered in paint. Yeah, you're going to need some. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, so then also uh, Saturday and Sunday, it's the Tour de Coop, which is a tour of chicken coops in both Eagle and Boise. Mm. So Saturday, it's going to be out in Eagle from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Basically, you go onto their website and you print out a map and it tells you all of these different participants whose backyards you can go uh, wander into and check out their chicken coops. That sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. So Brought then, to you by KFC, right? Right. Yeah, maybe not at not. all. Okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so they're coming back to Boise on Sunday for another tour de coupe, and there's an after party at the Zamzos on State Street. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. Very good. Uh, and then my favorite event this weekend party. is the uh, Boise Weekly Best of Boise Party. Nice. Um, so that's going to be a big bash throwdown at the Linen Building, uh, and that runs from 2 to 6 p.m. And the uh, first people who come through the door are going to get free drink tokens. Um, Can't beat that. I know, exactly, and then there's going to be a cash bar after that, and snacks, and music by the Frim Fram Four, so it should be really fun. That sounds like a really great event, and a great way to celebrate the Best of Boise going on. Yeah, and so speaking of the Best of Boise... Yeah, um, you have some highlights for us? Yeah, I do. You know, there's a... This actually was a landmark year for us. We had over 3,100 votes online. That's great. I know, it was just a landslide. Um, but even with that many votes, some of the competitions came down between one vote decided the winner. Really? So, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Once again, people, um, every vote counts. Yeah, totally. One of the um, one of the sort of big changes this year for the best local DJ and radio personality, I went to Mike and Kate, and uh, Ken and Tim over at the river had been taking that for a number of years. Wow. So, yeah, that was, a, that was a close one. And let's see, what else do we have? Um, the best local spa, uh, which had been taken by the Floating Feather this year went to Two Rivers Salon and Spa, which hmm. was a pretty interesting change of pace. Um, a couple of definite upsets this year, huh? Yeah, totally. Not in an upset. Um, Mark Allen of the Red Feather ended up taking Best Local Bartender. It's his fifth year in a row, so that's a big accomplishment for him. Wow. And Red Feather pretty much just stormed the cocktail section. They got Best Local Martini, Best Local Place for Cocktails. So. Uh, it was definitely a good year for them. That's awesome. Yeah, and there's a ton more um, 
that you can check out in our Best of Boise issue, which is on stands right now. And best of all, we can celebrate it all on Sunday at the Linden Building. Exactly. Very cool. Well, Tara, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to grabbing my copy of the Best of Boise in this week's Boise Weekly. Yeah, thank you, Brad. Very good. Well, we'll check in with you next week, and see you Sunday. Okay. <laughs>